Summer Kitchen, we boop boop with gummy vitamins. <laughs> oh, it looks like the sun and the moon. This could also be a children's show. Is any of this interesting? This month is part of the college series. We're doing my hungover kitchen because if you, like me, spent a lot of your time in college partying. Spring break in Anchorage, Alaska, mother Let's begin. The breakfast delight I want to show you guys how to make is called cowboy toast or as some people refer to it. Wow. Is it interesting we all have so many different names for things? Like I have no idea why I call it cowboy toast versus somebody else calling it like egg in a hole or like huevo in a sombrero. Step one, take this adorable little sauce dish, sauce dish, and place it in the center of your toast, rotating slightly, also applying a lot of force. This is where the egg will go. <laughs> now remove this circular piece from the center of your toast, just as you must remove yourself from the bed in the morning. Wow. See, you fit perfectly inside the warm, safe cocoon of your bed, but you gotta go, so take it out. Step number two, what do you do? You heat up your pan, do for you do. Turn on the heat. Hey, come on, we had a good thing going. What's up, dude? There it is, you just needed a little love. Don't we all? Butter, while you heat your pan, add butter. Why? So as not to ruin things like this pan or your breakfast. I like to use the taking the whole stick of butter and scraping it along the pan method. I like to think it adds a little seasoning from every other meal that I've used this butter for. But it's your toast! <laughs> boop, boop. Let it cook for a little bit and pontificate about morning routines. You know, a crucial step for me when I was in college was to get out of bed and immediately take a shower. This did one of two things. One, it made me all wet, so I couldn't possibly get back in my bed. And two, it woke me up. Is that even interesting? The egg. Pro tip, don't always draw an egg face on your eggs because then you'll end up not being able to crack any of them and then just keep a box of rotting eggs in your fridge with adorable faces on it and then everybody will be like, what are those for? And you'll be like, four? Crack! Oh, yeah. That's the magic! Toast this little piece too because why not? Reframe your camera lens and continue to talk about the morning. But don't get distracted and forget that you're cooking this egg, Hannah. Don't get distracted. Another great trick for the morning, make your bed. And this not only, A, prevents you from getting back in the bed and using your laptop and just staying on Tumblr and canceling all of your stuff for that day, but it also gives you a pleasant surprise every time you get home and you forgot you made your bed that morning. Then you're like, well, it's time for me to go to sleep. <gasps> in a bed that's been made? What is this, the Ritz? Uh-oh, turn down your heat. Why are you cooking it all the way hot, Hannah? Turn on the fan. No smoke alarms today. I got distracted, that's what happened. Okay, so very calmly, try and flip your totally burnt egg. It's not totally burnt, they're still home. Open the, open the door. It's too early for fire alarms, guys. Yeah, okay, we got this. Oh, not so bad. Hey, not so bad, we'll take it. Great way to start the day. Next up, plating. Which side looks better? I does. Great. Make that the side that goes up. And this adorable little thing. Et le voila! There you have it. You have a beautiful cowboy toast slash whatever you call this in your native land. Now take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh man. Well, it's supposed to be nice and yolky, but as you can see, the egg yolk is fully cooked. Not only that, I didn't season it at all, but I made breakfast, which is an important way to start every day. The other good news about this dish is that it looks like you put more time and effort into it than you did. Maybe it doesn't look that way. Maybe I just have low standards. Guys, before I let you go, I have a third morning thing I really want to tell you. If you're watching this and you're somebody who has like kind of a hard time getting up in the morning, try drinking like a big glass of water before you put any caffeine in your body. Understand that everything I say should be taken with a grain of salt because I'm talking about my best self, not my always self. Most mornings, I wake up like I put pomegranate seeds in to make it look like nipples. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out the other episodes as part of this overachieving under a budget for college kids theme thing that we're doing, they're in the description below. And subscribe to my channel for new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Mwah. Have a great day. My fingers are covered in eggs.